Alright, so we here have Team Rainbow. Uh, we have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Was the words Ubisoft said and decided that Fermite, Ash, and Pulse would be free operators. Now, this could be only for people who have the uh, Rainbow Six pack or the people who bought the season pass, but anyhow, they're free and I thank them for it. So, we're changing things up a little bit. As you know, my original idea with this entire thing was that Kevera led a BOPE team into Bolivia, but now uh, she will use her expertise of uh, South America to command Fermite, Ash, and Pulse on these operations. So these will be my teammates, and of course these are operators from Rainbow Six Siege. And this is the first time I am commanding an entire squad from that game outside <clears throat> the Rainbow Six, of course. So, Kavera is going to go to the Zama box over here, and we're gonna grab the HK416. Now, I have it on good authority that the 416's iron sights will be fixed, and that there will be a short barrel added for the gun shortly. Now, you can believe that all you want. Uh, I will believe it when I see it. But I'm kind of hoping uh, it will actually happen. So let's just put on a, an aim point down there and uh, go to the car. Not really the kind of vehicle that uh, you would expect. But hey, it's better than uh, driving a bike. Because driving a bike can actually... Let's kill the radio. Alright, everyone inside. And we are going to head into... Kane Maness, I think the proper term is. I have no idea how to pronounce it. We have added the course into our GPS and we are now on the road. That was their fault. They came driving on the road where I was driving. So obviously it was their fault. Don't you agree? If you don't agree, it was your fault as well. Now, in all seriousness, me and driving is rarely a good combination. Oh, come on! Just shoot the other guy. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I know. I'm being foolish. I'm just in a... I'm just in a good mood. That's all. So... We are heading... Whoa, come on! Why are there so many people driving on this road? Could there be less people, please, driving on this road? I mean, there aren't even that many places you can go on this road. So why is the road so full of people? Oh, well. Let's try not to drive over the cartel here. I said we were gonna try, not that we were actually not... Ah, crap, I think we got a civilian too. Maybe they were harassing at that civilian and we accidentally got her too. Um, I'm gonna die. And when I die, it's gonna be so much my fault. Because I've been fooling around and I can't... I mean, in ghost mode, you can't really fool around like this. You have to take things with a more measure of being more seriousness more serious. Alright, so we are approaching the main road. And are on track. Uh, three kilometers away until primary objective. Primary objective being a town in the region to which we are heading. And our car is already smoking and we are going too fast. And hopefully there will be no Bolivian police who is trying to stop us. Because that would be, you know, awkward. It also appears that the cartel does not really care about speeding cars. Uh, kind of a f weird thing considering that... Uh, that they claim to be the law and order and have established checkpoints and everything like that. Oh, someone just fired a flare. Ah, crap. This car is wrecked. 
We can even liberate the Santa Blanca car over there. Just spotted one with submachine yeah, guns. I think we are borrowing the Santa Blanca car. I mean, Santa Blanca doesn't really mind if we trash their stuff, do they? Or maybe they do. I would say that Santa Blanca most likely really cares if we trash their stuff. At least that's what I'm going to guess at. So, off we go. We're heading into Kaimans any second now, and we should be on the objective soon-ish. It's a vast isolated marsh drained by uh, wide rivers. Okay, and uh, there's no intel cache around here, but there's a Kingslayer cache. Uh, there are small intelligence caches Bowman, here. You've shifted ops to Kaimanes. What have you got for us? For the past couple of years, the cartel has been experimenting with high-tech submarines as a way to smuggle powder into the U.S. Best we can tell, these subs follow one of the tributaries up to the Amazon, then into the Atlantic for a transit to the Florida coast. Jesus, that's a couple thousand miles. Exactly. The man running the program is called El Cerebro. We've got almost nothing on this guy. Rumor has it he's some kind of genius, a real mad scientist type. We know he's been ordering all kinds of military-grade electronics to upgrade his subs capabilities. We need a better picture of what's going on in Caimanes. Get me all the intel you can on their submarine ops, as well as El Cerebro and his research. If you get actionable intel on the cartel submarine fleet, take them out. Let's put some hurt on El Cerebro and see how he reacts. Maybe he'll make a mistake and we can grab him. Sounds good. We're on it. Alright, we can actually do... Oh god, no. No, 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 we're not doing that. Uh, we can actually do the Rainbow Six mission if we want to. Uh, however, it would be very weird doing the Rainbow Six mission with, you know, Cavera and the FBI guys. So, I think we're not gonna do the, F uh, the Rainbow Six mission. We'll just keep that. Most cartel members are violent idiots who are too high to care. But Patricio Mendez Valle, a.k.a. El Cerebro, is an oddball genius who's too fucking smart to bother. Nidia Flores spotted his intellect when he was just a kid. She sent him to college in Mexico and later grad school in California. Word is he was too strange and misanthropic for even that crowd. But he popped up on our radar. El Cerebro heads up the cartel's submersible program out of Caimenez. From Caimenez, his semi-submersibles, sometimes carrying as much as 10 tons of cocaine, head downriver to Brazil. Entry team. Then High ground Atlanta. reports additional suspects are now on scene. Floating just a few feet below the surface, they can go Thank all you, the super way vida. to Mexico. Even as far as Florida. But smuggling with these semi-submersibles will soon be a thing of the past. He and Nydia have ambitions to make reusable, fully submersible craft. Think what a multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise could do with a fleet of submarines. Smuggling would be just the start. If we're gonna take down these subs, we need El Cerebro and his jagged ass brain intact and cooperative. Just remember, he's Nydia's pet project. She won't give him up easy. All right, rainbows, rainbow copy soul. <clears throat> Let's go grab some intelligence and stay away from any k spooked girls in the jungle and uh, trucks filled with stuff. All right, so we got the uh, number on all the skill points in the province. We got a job opportunity here for people who want uh, to become submariners. Apparently there's good pay in it. They want people with experience too, which is for the cartel kind of interesting. I mean, isn't Bolivia kind of a landlocked country? Then again, maybe they just want people who have experience of river craft, but hey. Enemy activity. Stay sharp. I got a narco over here. Over at the dump. Roger that. Okay, I can't find the supplies. We'll skip it for now. Let's move up and engage the cartel. This AO is part of Santa Blanca's coke smuggling operation. 
Bowman's got files for us on all the major players. Woman in charge is Nydia Flores, an ex-beauty queen turned drug trafficker. Her right-hand man is a dude named El Boquita. Ugly motherfucker. Seems to handle on-the-ground logistics. She's the brains, he's the brawn. Her Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter. That whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in La Desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us, Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. And probably a person we want to talk to about you. So let's have a look on what Bowman has to say about the entire smuggling operation of Santa Blanca. All right, let's do this. The Santa Blanca Cocaine Superhighway. Every year, more than 350 tons of coke leaves Bolivia, reaching about 20 million users worldwide. That means they're pulling in an average of $2 billion a week. How do they do it? Three little words. Air, land, sea. All coordinated by the head of smuggling, Nidia Flores. La Reina de Belleza, the beauty queen, and her right-hand man, the ravishing, the bewitching, the delectable El Boquita. Ouch, somebody get that guy a band-aid. The problem is, you see these guys on the news, you see decapitations, you see monsters, but you don't see the whole picture. These people are fucking geniuses. Case in point, you see tits, Nydia Flores sees opportunity. You see scrap metal, Nydia Flores sees submarines. You see holy water, Nydia Flores sees liquid cocaine. Because Nydia Flores is a fucking genius. You really want to shut down the cocaine superhighway? Hit the drugs, hit the money, then hit the beauty queen. Alright, so basically we are working ourselves up the chain here. We have already dismantled part of the security operation. Now we're moving on to the smuggling operation. The smuggling operation is what brings in their money. Tango down. Move up. You're gonna get made. Hang back. Regroup. Rally up, people. I copy. Moving. There's a cartel building up ahead with the intelligence we seek. Actually, it looks like we might have a, have uh, one more video about uh, the Beauty Queen, so we'll check it out. All right, let's. Yeah, that that was the one we just watched. I it appears, or was it now? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, well, let's check. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Baquita's is love. A smuggler from the age of six, El Baquita's father used to tape Acapulco gold on his son's body and then send him across the border. He called these trips vacaciones familiares, family vacations. By the time he was 13, Baquita was a trapecheador, a master smuggler. Cigarettes, alcohol, name brand clothes, DVDs, oil, wildlife, weapons, and of course, people. One time, he even smuggled in half a kilo of yellow cake uranium. If someone wanted it, El Baquito could move it. But it was never really about the money. For him, 
It was the rush, until he met the beauty queen. Nydia Flores saw his talent and made him her right-hand man. Nydia was the brains, Rokita was the brawn. The thing is, he was head over heels from the moment he first laid eyes on her. Nydia never felt the same way, but one drunken night she gave in. A little bit of sperm roulette, and nine months later, they had a daughter, Valeria. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Bukita has two. All right, let's go. Enough with the briefings. Let's grab some of Santa Blanca's harder the ammunition. Sweep and clear. Clear. Grab the intel. Yo, Cartel Gunman. This map's got locations for cartel subs anchored along the river. If we move fast, we can take them out before they head out on another smuggling run. Yeah, I agree. Let's go. Unidad Bird approaching. Stay down. For this to properly work, we sh really should have an armed helicopter. Tango down. Go up. Rattled somebody's cage. Okay, still all right. They heard a shot. Which is kind of wood. He's down. But more tangos will come soon. Oh crap, Unidad. Unidad just heard the shots. We need to get out of here now. I don't care how we do it. Get the fuck out. But we go. Buddies are about to join you. Looks like he shot a civilian as well. Alright, let's let's just run. I don't care how we do it, we just get the hell out of here before they find us. Alright, we're clear. Let's check the map. Uh, we have at least one airborne enemy helicopter. We have another helicopter here, which I'm not sure is armed or not. Uh, we can check that out. Uh, we also have a number of missions. We also have... Uh, uh, a mission we will not do right here uh, for obvious reasons and we have basically we have uh, one of the submarines here submarines here submarines here uh, right now we should really get grab a helicopter so let's grab the car up ahead and uh, head back to the lightly uh, guarded Santa Blanca outpost to grab the helicopter At this point in time, it doesn't really matter if the helicopter is armed with rockets or not. If it's armed with rockets, so much the better. Uh, but uh, right now we need rapid transportation in order to e more easily blow shit up. Alright, let's park here. And I used the term park loosely. What we're doing is putting the car here and... Uh, Let's see if we actually do need to shoot anyone. We might actually be able to do this more quietly. It is of vital importance that we... I'm spotting another Back it up, back it up. Frag out. Frag out. Clear. We're clear on this side. This thing has miniguns, but it does not have rockets. I'll take it. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Not sure if the miniguns will do enough damage, but at least with the miniguns we can clear the LZs. And let's head for the first... Uh... The cartel has a flotilla of submarines they're using to smuggle coke into Florida. Find the subs and sink them. Are we searching this location for intel? Airborne assault. about one let's check that helicopter if that has uh, rockets instead of miniguns I mean if it does we want it nah I think it looks to me that thing also has miniguns we'll see cartel network station hit the door and knock out the control terminal no we're not going to uh, to do that 
We hey might man, try to take us off some sweet jumps, all right? We might do some of those network stations once we have a decent shotgun to use, but not before. Okay, by the bridge we have uh, at least one enemy submarine. We also have an enemy uh, infantry assault vehicle in the area. Fire, fire, fire. Hit. I'm engaging takers. They can ask where their mortar is all they want. The mortar is not going to help them. We should try and hit the enemy mortar position just to be safe. Dear whoever is using the mortar, you have shit for luck because you can't get away. Another mortar at the end of the bridge. Engage. Alright, let's see where the hell the enemy sub is. Enemy reinforcements coming in. Roger that, I see him. Engaging ground targets. We got a Unidad helicopter joining the fight. Not good. Is that the blank is firing on Unidad, so we can actually... Oh, come off it. The Unidad patrol is on alert. We need to disengage. I say again, we need to disengage. Unless we can destroy this target very quickly. Okay, we'll let the rebels out. Either we destroy the target very quickly or we disengage. There's no other options for us right now. Looks like one of the mortars is still operational. We need to fix that. Mortar position secure. Unidad has disengaged. Let's set, the, set this thing down and blow up the enemy submarine. Come on. Things get dicey, we can grab the APC. on a drug sub. This must be Cerebro's luxury model. Who else wants some? Got him. I've got the C4 primed. Explosives are primed on the drug sub. Fire in the hole. Target destroyed. Don't get slack with that security. Dismount suppressor. We're heading out. Let's grab the enemy APC and get moving. Oh, come on. I can't climb over that. I really should be able to, you know. Great. How do, am I gonna get out of here? I'm serious, I can't. I don't seem to be able to get out of here. Is there no gate? Do they lock people in? Let's just jump into the water for a refreshing swim and see if going this way helps. Might actually do that. Yeah, there's the combat vehicle. Let's grab it. Whew. 
Buckle up, people. All right, so our next target is right here. The has a flotilla of submarines they're using to smuggle coke into Florida. Find the subs and sink them. Oh, crap. You know, using an APC like this might not be the optional thing to use for jungle warfare, but hey. Take what you can use, right? I'm feeling very reckless considering this is permadeath mode. I just want to uh, point that out before anyone else does. I mean, it's borderline sloppy. Full speed ahead. Watch the llamas. Llamas are nice creatures, we don't want to hurt them. I think the best option for this one is going to be to park the combat vehicle uh, within range of the target, then use the combat vehicle's guns to destroy the target from a safe distance. That is if we can actually get a good angle on the target. Ah, crap. We're almost tipping this thing over. I wish we could do the same thing with an actual boat, but it doesn't seem like we can. Alright, let's climb the combat vehicle and grab a pair of binoculars. Sniper out there. I see a second target. I got a third target. He makes five. Let's use a drone and scout the location. Yeah, I can see the drug submarine now. The plan should work. Let's do this quickly and loud. Aim. Submarine destroyed. Let's get the fuck out of here. We actually did it. Nice. Oh, here we go. They've seen us. All right. Let's get out of here before they actually see us. We got more Sicarios incoming. Man the guns, man the guns. Fermite, you're clear to blow shit up. Set. Let's go. Here they come. Engaging tango. Fire it well, fire it well, fire it well. Alright, so the third target is over here. Cartel has a flotilla of submarines they're using to smuggle coke into Florida. Find the subs and sink them. We're on it. Sorry if I'm a little bit late with checking the chat and stuff like that, but I try to reply in chat rather than uh, on stream. Okay, so this is a Unidad base. Whatever you do, Fermite, please do not open fire. I'm serious about that. Please do not open fire. There may be intel here, but I don't want you to open fire. Because if we do that, Unidad will never stop chasing us. God damn it! Can't this thing go in a straight line? Replenish our supplies. You mean fish? No, you mean caiman. 
you know, those little alligators, they say they taste kind of like rabbit. Nah, that ain't right. For gator tail, the tail's the best part. You need to really marinate the meat, otherwise you get a steak taste like a rubber chicken. Too bad I left my dry rub in my other rub sack. Okay, we do not want to put this thing into the water, so we'll make another attempt at driving across a bridge that really should not be able to carry the weight of a combat vehicle such as this one. Also, I know that we are basically tempting fate here, but... Oh, come on. Let's... Ouch! I can barely drive as it is, people. Looks like we found the cartel's primary base in Caimanes. Of activity around that warehouse in the middle. Could be big enough for El Cerebro to use as a research lab. Maybe. Let's take a closer look. Let's keep our heads down and see if we can get to the central warehouse undetected. I want to find out what El Cerebro is working on. Let's move. All right. We got one. T we got several objectives here, but we we're gonna go for. We on a warehouse where El Cerebro does most of his high-end design work. Sweep the building, grab any useful intel you can carry, and torch the rest. Oh crap, there's a drone Secret jammer here. That. They're jamming the drone. We got one tango close by. A suppressor. Move. Oh, hell, they found they saw us. I'm seeing a cartel just kind of out the Oh yeah, I can't do that, but the drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. Oh never mind. I pushed the wrong button. He's down. Keep moving. Mark Then go down. Go. I got a Sicario with the sub right by this stack of tires. They're gonna make you back Can't up. Can't go down. Looks like we've riled them up. Let's investigate as much as we can here. Looks like this was not the right place to go after all. Assholes know we're here. Stay quiet. Grenade, yeah, assholes do know we're here. Let's go. Grenade, take cover. We're fart. Tango down. We need to destroy that drone jammer while we can. Fuck. Sniper is behind us. He's down. in place. Fire in the hole. We did not get the jammer. Oh crap. Stop shooting at me. God damn it. Frag it. Two tangos down, another one uh, mo moving to the right. Grenade incoming. Cover. This is not good. Not good at all.
We'll move down this way again. And hope that we can use this way to... Disengage. Actually, let's do something else. Let's just grab a drone. Ah, crap, we can't scout. They know we're here. Rally on me. Roger that. Rally up. What do you make of that? Who gives a fuck? Let's blow it up. Who up? Uh, Democrat says P for plenty. We got it. Jump into the APC and use the guns. Open fire. You see an ASB, you take him out. Thank you. We don't have any C4 left. I'm gonna go and grab it from this thing. And then we need to get inside somehow and blow it up. Apparently if trying to blow it up from the outside is insufficient. The demo's primed. Two demo chargers are placed. Oh crap, we need to steal the checkpoint the schematics as well. Guys ready? Fire. Return fire. Alright, let's jump out and grab the schematics while we can. Nice, we got it. We've got the intel we need on El Cerebro's research, and we took out his prototype. The project's foobard for sure. All right, let's back it up and get the hell out of here. Oh, come on. Man down. Just hold on to your shit. Man down. Everyone out. This vehicle is wrecked. Let's move up and get to our secondary vehicle. If you know the reference behind the, the jungle moved, then you know why I stay the hell away from that one. The cartel has a flotilla of submarines they're using to smuggle coke into Florida. Find the subs and sink them. Ah, crap, we're stuck here. We need to proceed on foot. We don't really have a choice in the matter. Also, we're out of fresh, fresh out of C4. I got over here. Next to the container, see? Incan, yeah? I think so. We'll take the tour after we take down Santa Blanca, though. Stay sharp. Then go down. Keep it moving. There's got to be someone in the... Yeah. Stack He's down. The top of the tower. We need to grab Athlete. Tango's down. We got it there on the bridge. Manta one to Caimana Station. Manta one to Caimana Station. Please come in. We have run aground approximately 300 miles south of Santarem Station. 
Target spotted. Let's fire. I got a Cerebro brand sub. Eyes on those flanks. Let's take it out fast. Fire support on the way. All subs destroyed. Objective complete. Only way Cerebro is going to get that coke to Florida is when fucking go both. Fire support. Well done. Engage targets. All re remaining targets in the region have been destroyed. Nice show. Let's grab this 4x4 and get the hell out of there. I can barely see where the hell I'm driving. Yeah, it's official. I can see where I'm driving. But there's a helicopter around here, so let's get go, go grab that one instead. Uh, or actually not. There's an air defense network right over there. So the first thing we'll do is... Out. See if we can throw a grenade 60 meters. That we could. Now we can go grab the helicopter. No idea where we are. Can go down. They're on alert. I mean, it must really suck to be Santa Blanca at this base right now. I mean, this is the third time we're returning to hit it. We're clear over here. God, these fuckers are sloppy. Everyone I'm in. Pilot. I'm on. There we go. I had to get the blinders down. So we're right now passing over a special mission that pays homage to a creature that hunts in the jungle. Not gonna spoil too much, but yes, it's the one you're thinking about. So we're gonna move now and take set our chopper down close by to the information so we can grab it, should we need to. There's also a heavily armed chopper right ahead. Yo, we've got hostiles. Reloading. Looks like an SB helicopter base for sure. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. Got another tango. A baby makes three. I got eyes on a captain. Here's target number five. Looks like a makeshift hospital. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. One more, two more. Heavily armed. He's down. We rattled somebody's cage. Clear. One more. He's down. According to this, Elsa Rebro is buying loads of military grade electronics from foreign sources for his new sub design. Looks like a shipment just arrived by boat a couple days ago. You think we should go after it? That cargo could be an intelligence gold mine. We steal that boat and turn it over to Bowman. She can have the agency's text go over it with a fine tooth comb. Sounds good to me. Let's steal a boat. There's an armored boat docked outside Santa Blanca's base at Caimenez. It's loaded with high tech electronics for El Cerebro's research projects. We're gonna grab the boat and turn the cargo over to a CIA team for analysis. Ah, crap. We're compromised. Disengaging.
We're heading back in, but under the cover of... Lieutenant's on the run. Yeah, their lieutenant is running away. We can live with that. Let's see if we can locate the boat. Listen up. We steal the boat and then take it to the RP so Bowman's people can give it the once over. Sure, they Roger that. Play with it first. We rattle the cage. Let's swim closer and engage the enemy once we are in range. It would have been better if it was raining, but... Oh crap, we're compromised. Grenade. Well, for once, ending up in the water was not as bad as it might be. Grab the guns, people. We're leaving. Smoking fire on these fuckers. Thankfully, this thing seems to have tr transponders that respond to. This ride ain't all bad. Shit, give me a beer and I'll pretend we're back home off the coast. Hold on. Let's get back to it. Shit, give me Wait. Fire. Oh, crap. Shit, Keep up the fire, people. Suppress the enemy. God damn light panels. Let's get back to business. Shit, give me a beer and I'll pretend we're back home off the coast of Myrtle Beach. You still think you're 22 or something? Nah, I'm just looking to hook up with 22 year olds. I'm sure you are. Too bad none of them feel the same way. Let's get out of here. What we're dropping off the boat? Bowman has an RP on the river. It's some kind of old Cayman hunter's shack. I'll let Bowman know she can have her crew pick up the boat. After the agency's techs examine that prize, they ought to have a good feel for the rest of El Cerebro's designs. Good work in Caimanes. Taking out the cartel subs has cut shipments to Florida by more than a third. And the gear we intercepted and the intel we found on El Cerebro's prototype? First impressions are that El Cerebro was in the process of building a sub with mysterious legs. We're talking about a boat that could reach as far as Europe and do so completely undetected. Damn, that ain't good. Are you ready for the good news? We've got an ID on El Cerebro. The intel you brought in helped us connect the dots. I'll send you everything I've got in a minute. Outstanding. We got a location on our mad scientist? Negative. His OPSEC is damn good. Multiple safe houses. Never stops at the same place twice in a row the whole nine. But he's got an assistant that does most of the grunt work. He spends enough time on his phone that we've been able to triangulate his location. So we follow the assistant and see if he leads us to El Cerebro. You got it. Stand by for the data. One click away. Uh, we need a car. Preferably one of the local ones. Hello, we need a car, please. Could you step out of it? Maybe we Thank should keep you. the guns down. Make sure we don't scare anybody. Hang on, I'll drive. All right, let's roll. We need to keep up the night vision for the moment, at least. Let's not end up in the water, okay? I mean, it would be really sad if I died due to 
some kind of horrible, horrible accident. Careful, careful. and the assistant. Keep your distance and sure as shit keep him alive. We have to tail him to El Cerebro. Yeah, we need to tail him to the guy. So let's just jump out of the car and grab that shit, helicopter. We're made. The assistant's ah, a break crap for, for it. Actually, we don't seem to be made at all, because that assistant is not driving like a person who's actually made. Let's just kill the rotor lights and see where the hell he's going. He's passing close by a Unidad base, however, and the Unidad base might have air defenses. So we need to be on alert for that one. But this is the thing I like about the helicopters. Whenever you want to actually chase someone, doing so with a helicopter is usually the better option. Because you can creep up and you can keep line of sights that you otherwise can't keep and stuff is generally good. Then how anyone misses the fact that they have a chopper on their tail is another thing. We're almost there, people. They're heading into the base here. Looks like a large one too. This is the place. El Cerebro is in there, snatch and grab. We want him alive, got it? Got it. We're not going to pass every single waypoint on our way there. In fact, we're just gonna set down the bird right here. and head straight for it. We've got enemy activity nearby. <sighs> hey now, we got a group of Sicarios outside the house. <gasps> Drone is airborne. <sighs> There's a jammer. Spot. My drone's being jammed. God damn it. We'll leave the helicopters just in case we need them. Um, we got perfect opportunity here for st a perfect stealth since there is uh, rain, there's darkness. Careful. We can't give the guy a, any opportunity to run for it. Hold up, they're gonna see. They heard it. Fuck. Not good. Can't go down. 
modules. Stay quiet. This is not good. He's down. Watch out. We only shoot the right guy, right? It was an ambush. I see the guy. Grabbing him. That's an alarm. Get to the chopper. I say again, get to the chopper. There's a helicopter right there. Grab it. Crap. Why do you... Why do you have to struggle? Get the fuck inside! Throw a nade! Grenade, get to cover! Find some fucking cover! We're going! Everyone inside, now! Get away from there, move! God damn it, everyone out! That was far too close. The helicopter is still active, but the guy is still inside. Yeah, he's dead. Fuck! Well, at least we are not. That could have gone to hell in a handbasket. Unfortunately, it did not. I mean, god fucking damn it. I was convinced for a moment there that we were gonna die when the helicopter blew up. Thankfully, we did not. God fucking damn it. Alright. Well, we're not doing that. We are still on the store mission. We're gonna capture El Cerebro. And we are gonna do it with style. Hopefully. Because uh, right now... Our last attempt was basically shambles, so let's see here, we sh should really try and approach the area where he is, which is around here, from the flank. Then we will infiltrate along the shoreline and give this a number go. Okay, so if you just give me a sec here to look. Oh, uh, this is not good. Stand by. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, basically what happened was that I my... I got Sicario over here, by the turret. Yeah, we should be good now. Uh, basically what happened was that I had been negligent in deleting my older stream replays. Ones that had already been uploaded. And uh, I got a notice saying that my memory disk space on that drive was running low. Thankfully, I managed to get to it in time, so hopefully this stream sh should not be interrupted for you. So we're heading in that direction, and like I said last time, uh, we're gonna try and do the stealthy since the conditions are almost perfect for a stealthy approach here. Between the rain and the darkness, we should be very... Enemy difficult nearby. to spot. Of course, it's going to be even more frustrating trying to do it quietly after. Yo, two cartel gunmen. 
inside the house. See? After the last round where we actually did it quietly and Yeah, I see that. I can see the gap. I got another. That's five. Sniper in the we tower. got a sniper in the tower. Sniper's down. Careful. Secure Where you got him? Outside the house. He's down. Good. We got a couple of narcos. Outside the house. Yeah, I see him. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Nice. We got enough ammunition for this. Let's go. Uh, wrong stairs. Reload. Oh, oh shit, we've been spotted. Frag out. All right, now we go. And we go quick. Get to the chopper. Oh crap, there's that armed helicopter on the way. That's not good for us. In fact, that is quite the opposite of good for us. Let's throw him and get the hell out of here. We're using the same plan. We're going. This thing is armed. Let's take the fight to Santa Blanca. Got it. Let's get out of here. Now. Heading to Camps Bravo. Helicopter's damaged, but we should have shooken off our pursuit at least. Not much left. Lydia will come looking for me, you know? You know? She always keeps tabs on me, even when she thinks she's ignoring me. I really ought to go back, or she'll worry. I could fire myself out of the back hatch. I'd prefer you didn't. But I've almost cracked this. You know how cold it is underwater? The issue of chemical binding? Not an issue. It ought to be easy to find monoethanol, I mean, in Bolivia, right? It's just an issue of scale. Can I call Nidia Flores? She's probably busy, but she won't mind. She knows me. We're close. What am I talking? I'm scrubbing? No, no, no. I mean, scrubbing needs two compartments. Wouldn't leave room for any people. That's so. I want suspects for a Colombian submersible that just had a breathing tube sticking out of the surface of the water. Imagine the heat signature. Probably best I don't call Nidia till I have a real solution. Did I mention I know her? Do you know her? Well, we intend to know her soon enough. Let's grab that fucker. Come on. You are going to meet a another lady, so to speak, who will most We're likely have point. stuff to. Here. Thank you, baby Jesus. I'm sick of listening to this guy. Now you know how we feel every time you open your mouth. All right, let's see what he has to say for himself. Ma'am, Nidhi will be looking for me. Good, because we're looking for her. They say you've got a good brain between those ears, camarada. Now that you're up Shit's Creek without a submersible, you may have figured out that you need me to help you, and I will once you help me. Huh. Forgive me for asking, but what do you think this is? Compelling? Dramatic? The rocks here have been around for centuries, long before you were a gamut in your father's testicle. And they'll be around long after you've gone back to the dust. Do you understand? These rocks have more significance in the universe than you do. And your high and your hypocritical war on rocks. 
Hmm. Are you taking me to Nivia, or are we waiting for her? Do you not understand that I will lock you up in prison, where tattooed neo-Nazis will use you as a human pincushion for their dicks? <laughs> the problem is that you still think that anything matters. Anal rape, cocaine, murder, it's all nonsense. Do you think the Jaguars waste any concern on how they feel? Or that the rabbits they eat contemplate the name of God? Meanwhile, you're still lying to yourself, convincing yourself that you make a difference. So nothing matters to you, El Cerebro. El Cerebro? I am not El Cerebro. El Cerebro slipped through your fingers before you even knew he was there. He is quite simply gone, as though he never existed. I call bullshit. What do you mean we got the wrong guy? Looks like El Cerebro planted most of the intel we followed. He led us on a wild goose chase while he bugged out. Then who the fuck is Bowman talking to? El Cerebro's top submersible designer. A sacrificial lamb, basically. Damn. That's some next level super villain shit right there. Either way, we put the cartel's submarine fleet out of business. It could take years to get that program running again. And El Cerebro? The trail's cold for now. Bowman will keep her ear to the ground in case he resurfaces, but we're moving on. Nidia Flores was in trouble, and she knew it. It wasn't just the drugs that were being attacked. It was the money, La Bronca. Money that was supposed to have gone to our investors in Mexico, and never made it. What are you gonna do? No excuses, no rationalizations, no nothing. Nidia knew she had to find the solution before the solution found her. All right, so let's just follow our little tradition right now. We're gonna go to the store and we're gonna get a prestige pack. Now, as you can see, we, uh, the SWAT icons we were using are at the store and uh, for the moment, they're actually free of charge, so I kind of recommend them, uh, especially if they're free of charge. So we're gonna purchase that prestige crate, go to the crate slate, and open up the crate. And of course, item already unlocked, received credits instead. So two more crates and we get a free battle pack, which I am convinced will be filled with voice icons and emoticons I will never use. So, thanks for tuning in and we have cleared another stage in this wonderful permadeath mode without actually dying once. Which is kind of nice, despite the fact that we have been absolutely neglecting in pretty much anything. I mean, that was horrible. I should really calm down a bit. I mean, not stress so much and not rush into things but now I did all of that all of it and if I keep doing it I will die catch you guys later